Will I cry? Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about why you don't have to fit into a neat little box. Not literally, obviously, but why you don't have to fit into uh, something that society sets out for you. Why you don't have to be the same as everybody else or how you think you should be. Those of you who don't know me, let me briefly explain my background is that I've never ever done a proper job or at least not for any length of time and not in the proper order or in the proper way. So for once I worked at a bank, um, I worked at night on my own um, and in all honesty spent most of my time printing my own CV and headshots as for my acting stuff. And yeah, I, I didn't really do the job <laughs> very good. Um, yeah, so I've never really done a proper job ever. I've always been an actor, a creative, an entrepreneur of some kind of description. And I've basically winged my way through life. Like there's no two ways about it. I don't know how I've got here. I've no idea. I've just went with my gut and instinct and tried stuff and tried to stay open and not be scared and make up jobs that suited what I was doing at the time and just find ways of, of making it work for me. And it seems to be working. So I'm just gonna stick with that. So what I'm saying to you is that when you grow up and there's a lot of you have just been doing A-levels and GCSEs and stuff like that and getting results and, and it makes me realize how many people think they've got to stay a certain way now I'm firstly, a bit of a caveat, I'm not saying you can't do it this traditional way, you can't, if that suits you and it does suit some people, go for it, enjoy it, live your life how you want to live it. But what I'm reaching out to is the people that maybe that's not for and actually that's a large percentage of you that will then go on to get proper jobs and spend their lives disliking those proper jobs and that is just not what life's about, truly it can't be. There's no way we were here, we've managed to come about, however you believe we came about, and that's what we're supposed to be doing, hating our lives till we die. That just does makes no sense to me. So if this is you, and if you're kind of, you know, whether you're young or you're older, you're in a position now where you're like, I just, I'm not happy with where I'm at and this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing, then stop, take a minute, and just listen. You don't have to. It might feel like you have to now because you've got bills to pay and things like that, but you can find a way to work differently. There are so many different things that you can do. And the first step really is to look at you. What is it that you like? What do you enjoy doing? Now I'm not saying you can always build it around that, but what skills do you have? You know, are you a good friend? Are you good at organizing? Are you um, good at talking? Or do you do your makeup well? Do whatever it is that you, you enjoy and you're quite good at, find those skills and write them down, all of them. Even if it doesn't seem like that would ever be an actual job. Believe me, you can probably find a job for it. Write it down, it doesn't matter, have no judgment on when you're writing down, just write it all down on a piece of paper. I am good at, and don't be humble and modest and like, not talk about how, what you're good at. I don't care if you're the most negative person in the world. Nobody needs to see this piece of paper. Just write it down for yourself and actually acknowledge that you've got some skills that are transferable. So wherever you are at right now, whatever job you're doing or not, look at those and just write them all down. It doesn't matter where you're at right now because you can move from that position. And then when you've done that, start to consider what job roles or what um, businesses or what can actually what what would use those skills because I bet there's absolutely tons and then you can start to look at what kind of life you want what do you want your lifestyle to be are you a really busy sporty person and, and you want to be active all the time are you a real chilled out person you like doing meditation and you want to factor in a, a session of yoga in the middle of the day look at that then and then you can start to work out what is it that I want what skills do I have to make that happen? And how can I start to put that together? Because honestly, when you sit down and get real with yourself and go, this is really what I want. I'm, I've been pretending because it suits everybody else, but actually this is what I want. Then you make things happen. Honestly, that's what happens. But you've got to be honest with yourself first. 
and most of us don't most of us just kind of go yeah well I don't want to upset anybody and you know my mum's really wanted me to to be a, a lawyer and I, I really should do that because I did all that studying and stuff and it'd be such a waste wouldn't it you know I went to I went and did business at um university and you know I should just do that business but actually really you want to go and, and live in the forest and live off the land be real with yourself you have like this much time here even if you live a full long life you have this much time and if you want to make an impact and, and enjoy your life and connect with people then you have to do it now you can sit there and you can be at that job that you dislike and you can moan to your friends and have a drink and and wish the weekend wish you know wish the week away and, and hope it's the weekend and be absolutely buzzing that it's bank holiday because bank holiday here in the uk this weekend and everybody's raving about it and it just makes me feel depressed raving about your bank holiday then you probably don't really like your real life and that's rubbish and that's not what it's about so i don't want that for you so yeah, so today I just want you to think about that and just consider whether you might want to live a different way. Maybe you want to do things a little bit differently to you doing now and you don't have to conform to what the people around you want you to be doing. Really, you don't. Let yourself off the hook. You don't have to do that. You are under no obligation to do something just because somebody else says it even if that person's me. So if you want to go and do a proper job and live for the weekend, then do that as well. It's totally fine. But I'm just letting you, saying to you to consider it because I've winged it my whole life and I'm nobody special. I'm just a person on this planet just trying to have a go at some stuff. And if I can do it, then I believe that you can as well. And what some of you may not know because you may be just new to the channel is that I also coach people on business and mindset which I will be going back to doing at the end of September. So if you haven't booked in with me and you would like to, then you can go onto my website below, have a little look at the coaching packages and I would love to work with some of you. And um, yeah, we also have the Bossing It Academy which will be reopening soon. Um, we've kind of opened it freely at the moment but we'll be really concentrating on that over the next um, few weeks again I will put that below and that is my six week self-development academy which just helps you to live a more positive and productive life and to see the, the, the more optimistic side of life I also have lots of mini courses which are either free or seven pound or I don't know how that transfers into other stuff dollars and euros and whatever but yeah ha head on over to my website I'll pop all the links below so that you can do that and also I am a, a vlogger for channel mom and we have a competition at the moment which is run it will be starting again the new competition will be this well there's one on now it is on now so if you click the link below and then there'll be another prize draw on, on Monday as well so we're doing one every week up until the 1st of September and it's dead simple, click below, pop your, your details in quickly, follow Channel Mom on YouTube, but the, the link will be below to do that. And you could win, it's a good one, 50 pounds worth of Boots vouchers, 50 pounds worth of Primark vouchers, and 50 pounds worth of Lush vouchers, which is awesome and it would be nice to treat yourself on Channel Mom. And if you don't know about Channel Mom, it's a really, really cool mom village. So for you mums out there, it is good for dads as well. Like dads can, there is some dads that are bloggers and you can totally have a look as well. But if you're a parent and you kind of want to look at other parents and feel a bit more normal, <laughs> then you should head over to Channel Mom and just have a look at some of the videos that we put up on there. Because we talk about real stuff and I, before doing a becoming a Channel Mom vlogger, wasn't, wasn't really part of a, like a, a mummy thing. Because I kind of thought, well... It would just be a bit mumsy and like frumpy and stuff and I wouldn't like it. Um, but then I realised actually that's a load, load of bollocks and that there's lots of different types of mums out there. And mums and dads. And so there's there's types for everybody. If you are frumpy, lovely, mumsy, cuddly mum, then there's those kind of mums. And then if you're like tattooed, rock and roll, there's not me by the way. <laughs> I haven't got tattoos. <laughs> like that side then you can be that as well so go and join the competition the links below and i will speak with you work with you soon see you later my dolls